Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome to the very last edition of Oilers Fan Reaction from Arizona. <laughs> no guys, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, this is going to be the last broadcast of these Arizona Coyotes. Next season they will be in Salt Lake City. Hey Jerry, how's it going? Lubo, how are you? Again, thank you for today, my friend. You and your wife are amazing people. Without you, I don't think this stream would have been possible. <laughs> um, at any rate, I would also like to say huge congratulations to Kucherov. He also hit 100 assists today in the 6-4 beating of the Maple Leafs. Unfortunately, Austin Matthews is stuck on 69. He will win the Rocket Richard for most goals. Um, I guess 69 is a good number too, right? Like, nothing wrong with a good number, 69. Nothing wrong with the number 69 and being on that page. But he would have loved to get 70. Absolutely. Uh, tell me if you... Stream is going good, guys. If the volume is good, the clarity looks good, everything looks good. Also, the very last game for this guy here. Uh, I'll foreshadow him. Thank you, Nikki, again for making the bear. Nikki, an Arizona resident. Her husband is Adam. If you guys don't know, two really great human beings, really awesome people. But we're always going to have this. This bear will always be here. Um, yeah, and then else we got to say a little bit of housekeeping. Sam Ghani has been called up in other news. Sam Ghani was called up, which is all right, eh? But I'll be right back, as per usual.
as well. Sorry, I'm back. So, hey Dan, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, I thought I heard baby crying. I'm on baby duty. So I'm, I'm trying to something a little different tonight. And I'm going to try something a little different for playoffs as well. I know you can't see my mouse because I got it designed that way. But you know the bottom right corner here where it says Edmonton 8 p.m. at Arizona. And then here you see the players above it. Well, because I know that there's going to be games in it in playoffs where we want to be interested in, right? Like tonight, for instance... The Dallas Blues game, nobody really cares about Dallas Blues. But on nights that we're watching playoffs, maybe there's a game or two that I want to watch. Like, I think we should keep an eye on, right? So, I, what I was thinking... <coughs> excuse me. Was doing this. Oops. Again, hopefully it's not too leggy for you guys. And just moving it over here. And having like a mini in it, a mini ticker over here, keeping track of the other games going on around the NHL. What are you guys' thoughts on that? Hey, oil collector, how are you doing? If you guys think that's a pretty cool feature or something that you'd be interested in, let me know, and I'll definitely. Make it happen, Cap'n. Oh, well, I have your attention, oil collector. I'll make myself big screen here. Mungo dude here. Hey Aiden, how's it going? Oh. Hey Charles, sorry about the blackout zone. Yeah. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I do have the Arizona Coyotes feed. Like that's why I do have Arizona winning tonight, guys. Uh, I, I do have Arizona beating Edmonton tonight. It's going to be a close game, but I think Arizona wins in overtime. Now, oil collector. I did go to Tim Hortons. I bought four packs of hockey carts. In one of those packs of hockey carts, I got this beauty right here. And that beauty right there. And on the back of this beauty, there's that guy. So both car one card, two pictures. And on the other side of Ryan Nugent Hopkins, you get yourself a Zachary Hyman. I like it. I, I think that's a pretty cool idea that they did this year. I I'm a fan. I think what they've looked like the past couple years has been stale and kind of disgusting. But I'm a fan of it. He's here.
No, it's pretty cool. And we're going to get underway with the national anthems, the national lampoons. Oh, thank you everyone for being here. My name is Matt for Oilers Fan Reaction. Great talk for Oilers fans. But hey, if you're a fan of any team, you are welcome here. It's very emotional for me to write, guys. Uh, Arizona's always had a soft spot in my heart. Definitely has had a hot soft spot in my heart for Arizona. But they just couldn't make it work for whatever reason. Ownership wasn't willing to move where people were. Putting it out in Glendale was kind of a mistake in my eyes.
I think there could have been better places to put the arena. But hey, I don't get paid the big bucks like everyone else does, right? Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. In case you guys missed it, the Arizona Coyotes are 35, 41, and 5. The Oilers are 49, 25, and 6. Calvin Picard gets a net. Connor Ingram is in net for Arizona. Broberg is in. CC is out. <laughs> Why what? Bad ownership is always the problem. I agree, Renegade. Bad ownership will always be the problem. Love you too. I agree, but they could also get 50 wins tomorrow. We play Colorado tomorrow. In Colorado. So put Skinner in net tomorrow. Get the 50 wins tomorrow. Give Arizona their win tonight. Jim Playfair is your cousin? That's awesome, dude. Shots already won nothing for Arizona. Ugh. Again, I don't know if you guys are aware, but Jeff Carter retired from the NHL today. So Jeff Carter's retired. Ovechkin's going to retire at the end of the year. Crosby's done next year. Man, an era. Era of hockey over. Shot save made by Calvin Picard. Arizona's got three shots to the Oilers. None. But... An emotional start. Here's McDavid in the offensive zone. Oh, McDavid smashes against the boards. That's not good. Smashed himself against the boards. Oh, Ekholm loses puck. Thank you guys for being here from Arizona. My name is Matt. Please don't forget to push the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Share. Tell all your friends. I can, I can. Give me half a second. Oh, geez. Tell me when too much is too much. Is that good? Cheyenne, Wyoming. Hey, Rodeo Country. Rodeo Country. A lot of good bull riding up that area. Eighteen fifteen left to go in the first period. Shots are two to one Arizona. Again, final game of Arizona Coyotes history. I will fix it. Ouchie. Good hit there.
start officiating. Thirty-four, you fucking bum. Not a home ice bounce, a fucking rap that doesn't know where to stand. What are you doing standing there when there's no fucking buddy there? You stupid tit. Well, you gotta create your own breaks, and Arizona definitely created that one. I mean, I'm not surprised the way the league has been officiated the last two nights. Ah, uh, we're good. Oilers are going to lose this game, but that's okay. Arizona needs something to cheer for for their final game. I don't understand what the ref's doing there. Like... Yeah, it's not me. Ding dong. One nothing Arizona. <laughs> no, no, I'm happy. Don't get it twisted. Uh, I'm happy they're going to win, but just, I don't like the way that goal, like, there's no reason for the ref to be there in no man's land. We are losing everything. Eh, fair enough, fair enough. I just, fair enough. I'm just saying, like, these, terrible. I want it to be a pretty goal, you know? I want it to be a Josh Doan shot from the point ripper. Yeah, we'll see how LA do, does tomorrow. We'll see how the games go tomorrow. I hope it's LA Edmonton. But at the same time, I wouldn't care less if it was Vegas Edmonton. Either or. Oilers are winning round one. Oilers, Vancouver, Winnipeg. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you on that one, Charles. I think that's the sentiment of a lot of people. They want an Arizona win no matter how it happens. And that was almost too many men on the ice. I mean, it looks like the Oilers are just going to give it to them. That's a hand pass, but... Like, even that, I wouldn't call that a hand pass. Like, it didn't really... I, I, I don't like hand passes, man. Like, so what? It's not like you passed it in the net and you threw it 50 feet down the ice. But good play there by number 11. Who is number 11 for the Coyotes? I should probably know these things. Gunter. Hey, an Edmonton Oil King. An Edmonton Oil King for sure. Absolutely, I uh, I get riled up. Just be thankful you're not a Vegas fan. It's uh, I don't I don't ever hate on Arizona fans. You guys have been through a lot, but there is a silver lining to all this. Can you imagine Vancouver versus Vegas or L.A.? You know what? Thank you for reminding me. Nice. So we got 14.29 left to go in the first period. One nothing Arizona. Shots are 4-1 for Arizona. Oh, absolutely. Hey, Holloway deserves this. He's earned it. He's earned it. So like I was saying, there it, it isn't all sad days for Arizona. They are getting an expansion team. 
And my f sources tell me expansion in three years is coming to Arizona. You guys gonna wait three years, right? Oh, nice pass, just missed Connor Brown. Good clean hit there by 53. You're right, Charles. That part sucks, but I'll tell you what the silver lining is in the commercial break. You might not want one, but it'd be better if you did. Oh. Yeah, I agree. I, I'd much rather you guys keep Arizona. What, what would you rather want there, Charles? Like, I get that missing the playoffs isn't ideal. Ever. It's strange how they haven't gone to a commercial break yet. Fair enough. No, I agree, Charles. I agree with you. There's nothing good about moving. I agree. Unfortunately, your owner doesn't want to be in Arizona. I don't think he ever wanted to be in Arizona. Dry Sidle scores! Guys, the referees are bad. All right, well, now the Oilers know what they got to do to score. Sorry, guys, for the confusion. were confused. I don't know what's going on, guys. We're going to take a break, apparently. All right. So, you are you don't like the idea of an expansion team. Can I ask why that is? Like, yeah, you're losing the Arizona Coyote history. I, I get that part, but...
you could possibly get another franchise and get the Vegas treatment, like Lubo said, where you guys are pretty much handed playoff success. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's obviously not what anybody wants to ever lose a team. But you're going to get guaranteed a better roster that isn't going to have an owner drive people away or have 15 people on the roster that are on LTIR. Same owner, eh? Fudge. So you, yeah, uh, I see what you mean. Yeah, get rid of this bum. Get another. Yeah. Well, I'm with you, Charles. I'm with you on that one. Like, and I hate how Gary Bettman did Wayne Gretzky dirty. No, I'm with you. No, I, I agree with you. You can't win with this guy. I I know what you mean. I've I, I've seen the way this guy does things. That's why I'm really mad at Gary Bettman. For what he did to Wayne Gretzky and how he treated Wayne Gretzky and the deal that Wayne made and Gary Bettman basically said, yeah, fuck you. I'm reneging on our deal. I'm not paying you everything that we said we were going to pay you. Because let's be honest, when Gretzky owned the Coyotes, they were profitable. They were successful. Sometimes. More often than not. What a go! Oh, what a play by Arizona! Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's offside. That's fucked up. Yeah, if you if you're if you can't even no, you don't get a new owner. Yeah, I'm with you there, Charles. I'm with you. I'm with you on that one. Let me see if I can fix something. I'm going to try and move my camera back closer to my TV. Charles, there's always this team right here you can cheer for. We're always accepting people. Power play for the Oilers. I guess that's something. Big save there by Ingram. Next commercial break, I'll move my camera back closer to the TV. The Utah Yetis? Is that what their name is going to be? Oilers are good. The Utah Yetis. I wish there was a, a shelf behind me so I could just have these two perfectly good looking bears. Fair enough, Jerry. Eleven oh four left to go in the first period. One nothing Arizona. Shots are four four. Power plays one thirty six left for the Oilers. Drive settle. Takes it one more time. Eleven minutes to go. First period. 
Oilers and the Coyotes. Splitting Arizona in both games. Entering the third huh. period earlier this season. Well, it's got four in the first game. Really two from the Vanderbilt. Yeah. It's almost like what I'm looking at, guys, and, and this is no knock on Arizona or no knock on anybody, but it's almost like the Oilers are just playing this game to go through the motions. They're not really trying to score. I mean, they scored nine yes two days ago against San Jose, and it didn't look like they were trying for half a game. Utah Yotes. Hey, man. Keep the Coyote name. Please, Bouchard. That's it for the power play, folks. Not much happening. Yeah. Kesselring just got away with a massive trip there. Yeah, I agree with you though, Charles. Get a new name. Get a new name. Yeah, a bunch of players are one point away from one point away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. look like they're going through the motions. Don't get hurt doing this though. Don't get hurt playing like this. Personally, I would have rested all our top guys. I would have had the AHL guys come up and play. And then play our top guys tomorrow against Colorado. Oh, Mark Stone's ready for game one. His spleen wasn't that bad. Fake injury. Don't care about the kid. I hope Dallas destroys Vegas in round one. I hope Tanev sees him in the corner and just puts a stick to his gut. He says, how's your spleen? Oh, perfect, eh? Yeah, that's a lot of one point ways, yeah. Yeah, I, I'll give you an eye on it. That was a pretty play by Arizona. Sam Carrick scores! First goal as an oiler, Sam Carrick.
assisted by Bouchard and Ekholm. Is Bouchard or Ekholm on that list? Kulak, Hyman, RNH. Oh, Jesus. Oh. 6.35 left to go in the first period. Kulak's looking for it. Six oh nine left to go in the first period. One one's the score. Seven four shots for the Oilers, who are zero for one on the power play. Arizona has yet to get one. Agree, Connor Church, but we don't kick people when they're down. can't kick people when they're down. Chirp, but keep it a little fussy. Five and a half minutes left to go in the first period. Is he going to take me to church? Shot big save there by Picard. I'm going to do something right quick. I'm going to do something really, really quickly. Just give me half a second here. If you guys get vertigo, I apologize. All right, let's see if you guys can hear this better. Store. Real Canadian Superstore. Well, Louis and Jack getting set to talk to this young man's dad in the second year, but let's talk about uh, Josh Stone. And, uh, you know, as you go through this uh, final... Well, you guys can hear that better, and you guys can still hear me pretty damn good. And, uh, the work ethic uh, of the Dolls, there he is, picking up pucks uh, at the end of practice. And uh, he was so thoughtful this morning as well, talking about the fact that it's been surreal for him to go from a fan to a player, and he wants to end the Coyotes' time there on a high note. Uh, thank you to the fans, and also to let them know... Sorry, wrong button. Interception by Eckholm on a feed from Long. Wrong button, man. So blasted in. Eckholm setting up Edmonton's game time goal moments ago. So far away, yeah. Um, National Hockey League debut. I can fix that in the intermission. But I want to make sure you guys can hear what's going on on TV, too.
Yeah, I'm predicting a 3-1, or sorry, 3-2 Coyote win in overtime. Shot save made. Face-off against pain with Advil plus acetaminophen. Fight pain two ways for fast, effective relief. Those Arizona Coyote jerseys, the one that just say Arizona across their chest, amazing. So I don't look like a little person. Until Friday night. And the combined score over the last eight meetings still 41-20. 3.58 left to go in the first period. 1-1's the score. Connor Ingram with another beautiful save. Edmonton has reeled off nine of the last ten shots. Edmonton has reeled off nine of the last ten shots. Tomorrow on Sportsnet. The new 2024 F-150 has the power you need and more. Right now, get a four thousand dollar rebate on most 2024 F-150 models. Emily and Jane agree on pretty much everything. Music. He's so far away, but yet he's still so close. And phone carriers. Lucky for one of them, Rogers 5G. How's that for you folks? Here. Everybody good? Everybody happy about that? Only Rogers has I love those Arizona jerseys, man. I uh, I might have to hit Adam up to see if he can get me one and how much it will cost me to get it to him. Get me one. I guess I could mute my TV so you're not listening to commercials and I don't get in trouble for it. 3.51 left to go in the first period. Score is tied. One's a one. If you were running late and you missed the goals, I will give you a full recap. I'm a nice guy like that. Nice guys finish first. Yeah. Well, hey, now the Sun Devils are going to have Mole Arena all to themselves. They don't have to share. If that's a good thing, I don't know. The first goal scored by Arizona, Liam O'Brien, his fifth goal of the season. Oilers tie the game late. Sam Kirick, assisted by Ekholm and Bouchard. Kirick's tenth goal, first as an Oiler. Now that you got it good and understood, continue on. Two years here at Mole Arena, which is in Tempe, Arizona. 19 at Mole yeah. yeah. I believe it was Steel and River Arena. That was in Glendale, Arizona. And then, of course, they began at America West, which was the home of the Phoenix Suns at the time. And that was the first seven years. And that's where I played, was at America West downtown in Phoenix here, and you can see the numbers, 28 seasons, nine seven, times, owners. seven owners, and I mean, listen, this has been something that's gone on for essentially the entire duration they've been here in Phoenix, and it's been changed over quite a few times, unfortunately this time it's going to be relocated, that's all they said. Now, I know you missed the Chuck's turn, Barkley had already moved on to Houston by then, but I'm curious, who had a better suntan and who had bigger muscles? Good battle there, Day Harney. Oh, shot, save, rebound, and gloved by Picard. 2.46 left to go in the first period. Century Casino, all in, all games, all season. Century Casino, great locations in Edmonton, St. Albert, and Century Mile Racetrack. Welcome to the winner's zone. You're back. Ah, that's unfortunate. 
We try and keep the rip raft out of here. You're right, Utah isn't that far. Oh, Bouchard, bad giveaway. But it's just, it's not Arizona. It's also a degree difference of about 30 degrees. Salt Lake City, Utah gets cold. Arizona doesn't. Here comes Echo. Looking for Brown. Brown gives it to Carrick. Senator Connections. Frickin' rap, man. Just stand in a corner. Pick a corner and stand there. Wow, big whipper. Yes. Yes, guys. We do have things planned for playoffs. Absolutely, we do have things planned for playoffs. Lubo will make his appearance in one of the games. Maybe even Diane will get Diane in the chat. You guys can. Yeah. One minute remaining in the first period. One minute remaining in the first period. later. Um, yeah. 19 seconds left to go in the first and final period. Follow the bouncing puck. Wow, that won't count, but. Woo! Ooh, sloppy Oilers hockey almost cost him a goal. Congratulations to Liam O'Brien. We're going to check on your out-of-town scoreboard because, hey, that's what we do here in Fun Town Hockey. Quite a few games were on the schedule today. Quite a few. Well, four. Islanders 5, Pittsburgh 4, Carter retires. Lightning 6, Maple Leafs 4, Kucherov gets his 100th assist of the season, becomes the 5th NHL player in NHL history to record that feat behind McDavid, Gretzky, Orr, and Lemieux. Oilers are tied at 1 after 1, and... With the second period, 15 minutes left to go. Blues, nothing. Stars, nothing. Hey. Just like that, though, folks. Oh, I'll be back.
Welcome to the intermission. Sorry, no Edmonton is good. He did not hit 70. He got stuck on 69. Nothing wrong with that, though. 69 is a nice, good number. Nice, rounded number. Not for lack of trying. Not for lack of trying on Matthew's part. Yes, Charles, yes, you will. Thank you for being here, by the way, buddy. Appreciate you being here. I know under not so great circumstances, but who knows, you might become a fan of the new team of the Yetis. Matthews took 12 shots today. Let, let me reiterate that. Austin Matthews took 12 shots. Holy balls was he desperate for that goal. 12 shots? 12 out of the 38 shots that Toronto took, Matthews. And it wasn't Vasilevsky that was in net, folks. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say it was Vasilevsky that was in net. Tompkins was the goalie for the Lightning. 12 shots and no goals. Anyways, guys, holy shit. I'll be back. <laughs> Welcome to the intermission. the intermission. The intermission. Welcome to the intermission. The intermission. Welcome to the intermission. Welcome 
to the intermission. the intermission. the intermission. mission. the intermission. the intermission. the intermission. Twelve? He said twelve shots? That guy took twelve shots? Well, Dallas is looking like they're just conveniently wanting to get one point. One point and one point alone. Six twenty two left to go in the intermission. Again, my name is Matt for Oilers Fan Reaction. Thank you for being here, everybody. If you haven't already pushed the subscribe button, but if you have pushed the like, share it. Tell all your friends. We're here for twenty six games of the playoffs. Sixteen wins. Let's get them. I'm gonna be here. She shotgun that beer. I guess when you lose in the finals, shit, man, that guy looks so much like Kobe Cave. I don't know if you guys are watching the Arizona Coyote stream for uh, I think it's ESPN, but the guy they just had on there and they interviewed, he looks so much like Kobe Cave. 
rest in peace to Colby, man. pictures before. Those are some sad freaking pictures. Yes. Yes, there is. I'm working on that right now, Lubo. I'm actually, like, legitimately working on that right now. Uh, get out of my head, man. Get out of my head. But yeah, there, there absolutely is something that I'm going to play for Arizona Coyote fans. After the game. Ugh. Just gotta make sure it's gonna work. I think it will. I don't think there would be a problem.
<laughs> uh, yeah, no. Uh, uh, yeah, I got something. Um, Where you need it. I got something. It's the best way I could think of Gatorade. paying homage to them. With electrolytes to help replenish with lost and sweat. Carbs to help fuel. I hear a car, um, baby. And Daniel Darnell Nurse again, top three finalists. Scientifically formulated so you never I agree. I agree, Renegade. He does a lot for the community that gets unrecognized. But he takes so much shit. Create a new path. Oh my god. I don't want to create a new password. I was hacked. Second period is underway. Find out tomorrow night, LA Vegas. Face off it is behind the owner's net now. 18:58 left in the second period.
Yeah, I was just finding the sound that I needed, and I didn't want to get copyright infringement without editing it. So yes. Sorry, guys. Shot, save, rebound. 16-16 left to go in the second period. Fogel trip. No, 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 don't call. No, don't call that. Don't call that. No. No, Fogel, don't. Ref, don't call that. Don't. That's not a penalty, man. Uh, sorry guys, sorry about the sound. I was making sure that I got the sound that I was looking for. Second power play of the game. I agree. I think it's better that he plays under the radar. Less ammunition for the haters. Couple of haters. Couple of haters. Oh no, Lubo. Oh. oh. So just tell Vancouver to lose tomorrow night, that's all. Just ask Vancouver to lose to Winnipeg tomorrow. Hey Vancouver, lose to Winnipeg. Do us a favor. Wow. Arizona is just all over these Oilers. But again, it's just, they're looking like pedestrians out there, the Oilers. They're looking like they don't want to score. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. They're looking like a team that's just playing not to lose. Night. My bad on that, Lugo. I didn't want to answer and act like an idiot and look like an idiot. I mean, I, I do that all on me on onesies. You know what I mean? I do that all on me onesies. I don't need help with that. But yeah. There's your answer, Diane. Nineteen seconds left to go in a power play that's done. Squadoosh! Fifty left to go in the second period. One one's the score. Oilers are 0 for 2 on the power play. And here comes Arizona. Oh, I thought Arizona was coming on a break. Let's go, Arizona. Zone out, be it momentarily. 
It's just one of those games like you want Arizona to win. But you want your favorite team to win too. playing in the playoffs, you needed to make that hit. Switzerland a lot lately. Good thing when playoffs come, there's no more Switzerland. It is all loathe all the time. I'm going to be like the Grinch come playoff time. Hate, hate, hate. Hate, hate, hate. Hate, hate. Despise. Hate, hate, hate. Loathe. <laughs> yeah, I moved the camera up higher. So it's closer to the TV so that you can hear the TV without me turning the TV up to 40. This TV doesn't have as good a sound as the other TV does. Little fixery fixery. I'll figure something out after the game tonight. By tomorrow's game, I'll be closer, and you guys can hear the TV better. I promise. Do you, do, do, do you want me to be this close? Do you, do, do, do you, want, to, do you want a close-up? Look in my purrs. Look into the pores. <laughs> Get nice close and personal. Yeah. T-shirts adorned the 4,600 seats here at Mullen Arena. They wanted a bit of a whiteout, a salute, of course, for the old Jets at the Winnipeg Arena back in the early I agree. 90s. You and I were talking. I mean, that was, you know, this franchise up until 96, 97 when they moved here. But, I mean, the Jets had some good teams in the late 80s, and they just couldn't get by well, a certain team in Blue yeah, Orange. Yeah, how many times was it you
Yeah, I agree. Let's get something going. One nothing St. Louis after one, folks. Sorry, after two. Hyman still beating Hyman. Just hit puberty, boys. That guy's so smart. That 97 guy, he's so smart. He made it seem like he had the puck was going to wrap it, kind of forcing the Arizona players. Didn't bite. God, that guy's smart. Ooh. He's our captain, folks. Smart, smart, smart guy. Ten minutes left to go in the second period. Still 1-1. One, one. Shots are 14-10 to 10 for the Oilers. They've had two power plays. Over on the power play, the Oilers. Our Arizona hasn't had a power play yet. Key word there being yet. Oh, my gosh. You just railroaded your own players looking for a big hit there, O'Brien. Stay within yourself. Know your limit. Stay within it. Okay, <laughs> Arnie's like, you can't fight me. What are you doing, kid? Like, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Just. I'll smack the red out of your beard. I'll smack the red out of your beard. You keep talking like this. Ugh. How's everybody doing on this very cold Wednesday in Edmonton? Yeah, we got snow last night. I woke up this morning and snow covered my car. I swear, Mother Nature doesn't know if it's going to be sunny or snow. Do you want summer? Do you want winter? Because I can't give you both. So I'm just going to give you one or the other. Hey, Friedrich, how's it going? <laughs> Thank you for being here, man. I see the Arizona jersey on your guy's logo, on your avatar, dude. Much respect, man. I know it's a hard time for Arizona fans right now. That's why I'm not kicking a dead horse. Don't beat a man when he's down. I think we've all said to a man on this stream, we want Arizona to win this game. I know it's against our Oilers. Clearly, I'm an Oilers fan. Look at my wall. But sentimental, man. Yeah. Yeah. We do have something very special planned for after the game. So if you guys stick around for after the game, there's something very special planned for the Arizona Coyotes. Circumstances. You uh, can hold. How sad are you about the Coyotes leaving? I'm, I'm very sad. It's like a death in the family. You know, we, uh, this was a family pastime. So we uh, always came, all my kids would come. We'd fight for who's going to get the, the games. Uh, and so when I went out there, you know, a lot of 
Yeah, so uh, I'll keep my snow, you keep your hurricane. You keep the tornadoes. I'll keep my snow, you can have the tornadoes. That's why I don't really complain about snow, because it could always be worse. We could always be getting tornadoes and earthquakes and hurricanes and typhoons and tsunamis. But I live on the prairie. What's the worst that can happen? Snow? Yeah, snow and wildfires. It's a combination. Sure. Eight and a half minutes left to go in the second period. Farewell to the Arizona Coyotes tour. Well, okay, that's awesome, man. That's awesome that you came here. And if that's the way to search it and that's the way you found us, we thank you for being here. It's bear time. We need we need an Arizona goal. We got a winner one. We got an Arizona one. Let's get another Arizona goal. Thank you again, Nikki, for making these lovely bears for my kids. You're awesome. I don't know. I cannot confirm or deny that. I I think Diane would be the first English, my first language. I think Diane would be the best person to find out what Adam is up to. I hope he's at the game. That would mean a lot if he was at the game, man. I yeah. Go out with a bang, right? Go out with a huge win. Yeah, that's right. There is a huge watch party for the Arizona Coyotes. Last numbers I checked was like 5,000 plus. Last time I heard, 5,000 plus. That's insane. Big save there by Galvin Picard. Salt Lake City team, but hey, like we were saying to the other guy that was here earlier, Charles, expansion is coming to Arizona. Just sucks that it's going to be the same owner, right? And like we said to Charles, you know, th th there's, th there's this crest here that could always use some new fan members. We don't say no to new team, new, new friends. Good block by Adam Henrique. Hey, Edmundo, how's it going, my friend? 
How is Bakersfield? How is sunny California? Six minutes left to go in the second period. Shots are 15-13. Score is still 1-1. One, one. Oh, little too hot for me, my friend. A little too hot. Big save by Picard yet again. Carcone. There's that's oof. the what could have been season for Campbell, eh? The what could have been had he got some mental hurdles out of the way. Ugh. Oh, just give me half a second here, guys. I need to yell at my wife because she took the purple marker. Never mind, it's right in front of my eyes. I'm blind. Apparently, I'm blind, I'm deaf, I'm an NHL ref. <laughs> yeah, she would. Love you. Scottish name. Come on, come on, come on. 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 The voice you hear right now, if you're watching Sportsnet, is Shane Doan.
Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I'm, I'm well aware of that area. Absolutely. Switch it back. Sorry, guys. You know what? He's, a, he's an example. You just kind of stick with it because he had a long ways to go when he was 15, 16, and he just kept going. He just kept working. He loves to play hockey. That's oh, that's awesome, Friedrich. That's awesome. Yeah, that guy's huge. Three minutes left to go in the second period, Arizona 2, Edmonton 1. This is so awesome hearing Shane Doan talk. I can come do that, Diane. Absolutely. One minute left to go in the second period. One minute remaining in the second period. Arizona two, Oilers one. Shots are 17-15 in favor of the Oilers. But honestly, it looks like they're just playing not to get hurt right now. What a pass by McDavid. What a save by Ingram. 15.2 seconds left to go in the second period. Oh. 
St. Louis is up 1 0 on Dallas. 17 minutes left to go in the third period. That's it. Two periods down, folks. Uh, it, it's it's almost bittersweet because, again, you want to see this franchise win their final game, but you don't want it to be against the Oilers. <laughs> yes, I'll come up and turn the lights off. Thank you guys for all being here. My name is Matt for Oilers Fan Reaction. Catch you in a few minutes, folks. Welcome to the intermission. the intermission. The intermission. Welcome to the intermission. intermission. The intermission. Welcome to the intermission. the intermission.
welcome to the intermission. That a kick in the nuts. Sorry guys, I, I was wondering why I kept saying stream reconnecting, and then I looked down and saw that my 50 foot internet cable was pulled out of its socket. Hopefully we're back and I don't have issues. Uh, apologies, apologies, apologies. Uh, Embarrassing. <sighs> Terrible. You can't win for losing, right? Like. But we're back. My goodness. Oh, look at our stars. Sorry, folks. Again. Hey, Don, how's it going, my friend? How's it going? Yes, for the final time in franchise history, let's go, Yokes. Nothing but love on our side, man. Nothing but love on our side. Ten twenty four left to go in the third period in the Dallas St. Louis game. Score is one one there. Uh, now that I know we're back, I'll go back to the intermission and continue doing what I was doing before. Enjoy the rest of the intermission. You got seven minutes left of it. Welcome to the intermission. The intermission. Welcome to the intermission. Welcome 
to the intermission. 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 The intermission. Welcome to the intermission. the intermission. 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 Welcome to 
to the intermission. intermission. mission. mission. Yeah, so oh, this is tough for me, guys. So this is a bear that I just recently got from one of our followers. A great couple. Uh, we didn't know it was the end. Uh, I have very uh, strong emotions because of the Doan family. Don's mom and dad shaped my childhood. In contrast, he's been outscored by 17 goals in the third period. He's looking to close it out and make their final game in Arizona a victorious one. Eugene Hopkins directs a pass to Vinny Dayarnay. Rifled up to Plum. That looked like it was offside, but let it play. Penalty coming up against the Edmonton Oilers. Can't do that. Here for 
Well, holding, as you mentioned, Jack, and well, to Raptor, you, you mentioned it had an assist on that secondary goal that Michelli gets taken down by Fogel on that play. And this will be the first power play for the Coyotes in the game. NHL debut for Ratu, an assist, and he's drawn a penalty. Leading the American Hockey Team in assists was second only to Josh Doan in points on his recall. So an opportunity for him again, as you heard Shane Doan talk about opportunities for all these young players that have to make a name for themselves and leave a lasting impression at the end of the year. Power play, a pretty good one for Arizona all year long, just a shade under 22 percent. On a deflection, came out front, and Pickers able to put it to rest. And with that, the youngest uh -huh. the roster in the NHL, the Coyotes, right now. And that's to be expected with the way the season went. They're playing the oldest. Yeah, right there you go. The youngest yeah. versus the oldest. <laughs> Sean Jersey. Saucer across to Clayton Keller. Sixteen fifty six left to go in the third period. Arizona two. Edmonton one. Forty four seconds left to go in the penalty. That's tough, right? Four seconds in the penalty to Fogel is Pickard back to his feet. Good entry into the zone by the power play set in motion. It looked like Schmaltz was going to take that shot, but dishes it back to Keller. Those two have great chemistry. And have played together for a few years, and the quick shot by Keller handled by Pickard. It's only the sixth time in the last five games the Oilers have been shorthanded. The cloud comes up with it, locates Adam Drink, and he'll fire it in. Taken by Balamaki. Arizona power play inside a half minute. A nifty little steal of the puck yes. over the cloud. That was nice. And now the cloud taken. You avoid Vegas. You avoid Vegas. <laughs> oh, Vancouver fans are happy they avoided the Vegas Golden Knights in the first round. Getting what you want isn't out of reach. Experience true flexibility. Bring on Nashville. By Coventry Homes, the official builder of the Edmonton Oilers. All right, McLeod really starting to play. A purposeful game, but just a beautiful little steal here. He's so fast and so slick with that stick. He just kind of takes it right off the stick. Says, thank you very much. Great penalty killing by him using that speed to stick effectively. And he doesn't take the tripping from it, because otherwise it's five on three for 45 seconds. That was really well executed. And to get that stick in there and just as quickly get it out. Josh Doan hits the line, misses the pain. Well, both teams are over on the power play. That's good news.
Coyotes three, the Edmonton Oilers one. Scored by Austin Krupp. I guess it's only fitting. Zeal, zeal, zeal. I agree, Friedrich. Zeal indeed. The Oilers are honestly just playing not to care right now. And that's a bad way to play. But good on them. Good on Arizona. And then put down the ice on that icing. As you mentioned, I guess who dry sidle McDavid in time and jump on the ice. And that's what the icing is due for a team on the road. They allow the head coach of the opposition to kind of find that matchup maybe that he wants or look for an advantage. Thirteen forty-five left to go in the game. Arizona three, Oilers one. Shots are twenty seventeen for Edmonton. Ingrams look sharp. Oilers have not looked sharp at all. Oh, boo! They didn't want riots. They didn't want riots or fights. That's ridiculous. Arizona fans deserve better. Huge save by Picard there. Bittersweet, right? Like icing will be waved off. I think this is a sign of the times that Gary Bettman's leaving. Change coming for Arizona. Twelve and change remaining. Gunther takes a pass from Palamaki. Saucer it over to Logan Cooley. I think this is the sign of times that Gary Bettman is leaving the NHL. Fogel scores. I, I can't get super excited about it. But Warren Fogel scores to make it 3-2. Look at how he's playing with some confidence. He's minus two in this game, so he's been dashed up a couple of times, but he gets his feet moving here, makes the first outlet pass to Fogel. But him trying to... I don't even have a Fogel one in <laughs> Left to go in regulation. This is a tough one for all. Yeah, I agree, Lubo. I agree with you, man. I think it's a tough one for all NHL fans. Like any fan that likes NHL hockey, but especially Yotes fans. You got you guys deserve better.
would sound some of the wounds created by the imminent move. But Warren Fogle gets the goal, folks, to make it 3 2. Assisted by Broberg. Oh! Philip Broberry gets himself a goal, an assist, sorry. Is it going to be enough? Try some. Pouring in. Dishing off to Eckholm. Shoots. And that stayed out. Broberry gets the assist on the Fogel goal. Trailing by just the goal. Bouchard. Back hands it up to Eckholm. Josh Brown. Good read on a pass in 10 for McDavid. Marconi failed to get it deep. Back to Eckholm with ten and a half to play. Hyman stood up by Brown. But here's McDavid working off a check. That pass rolled just down the reach. Yeah, Oilers just don't want to take shots, man. They don't. It's like they know they got a score, but they don't want to shoot. He's able to clear up the right hand side, and Edmonton's top line will change. Back to first NHL game protecting Liam O'Brien. To Josh Doan, centering pass off the heel of O'Brien's stick in the end mark, looking for an outlet to McDavid, who was still lingering. Jersey rushes it back in. Pickard able to pick that one off, off the broker, who just set up the game's second goal for Edmonton, and Warren Fogel's first twenty goal season. Congratulations to Warren Fogel on your first twenty goal season, though, man. Like, that's nothing to scoff at either. Like, yeah, I know Matthew's got 69, and Hyman has 53 or 54. And, but 20 goals is 20 goals, man. I've never had a 20 goal season in the NHL. Nine minutes remaining in the third period. Nine minutes remaining in the Arizona desert. I, I can't even bring myself to even say it. It's, it's not real, right? That's offside if they score. Hits Holloway with the puck, Fogel does. Puck grab by Eckholm, flipped it across, looking for Holloway. Foley and Chonick got there, but could not muster a clear. Bouchard able to hold it in, a leaping Holloway. Settles it, looks for help, and finds it from Henrique. Stolen away by Moser as he got inside position on Holloway and launched it down the ice. And that goal draws. It's not icing. 7.52 left to go in the third period. Icing against the Arizona Coyotes. Ugh. This is definitely not a bye-bye, Arizona. This is a see you later. See you to next time.
Fully loaded Chicago style pizza only at Little Caesars. Chicago, Chicago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go. Introducing the new 2024 Ford F-150. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Advil plus acetaminophen fights pain two ways. By combining two trusted pain relievers into one tablet, ibuprofen targets pain. Acetaminophen blocks pain signals. Advil plus Sorry guys, I'm, yeah, I'm an emotional wreck a little bit. Oilers are down 3-2 with seven minutes left to go. We'll just have another game tomorrow against the Colorado Avalanche. So, hey, let's... Uh, Football as well for the Avalanche. Eh? Yeah, it's like you're saying goodbye to an old friend, right? Like you're saying goodbye and you're they're never coming back. Seven minutes left to go in regulation. 3-2 Arizona. Shots are 23-21 to the Oilers. 24-21 now. The Dallas Stars beat the St. Louis Blues in a shootout. Stars clinch the Western Conference. Vancouver plays Nashville. Good Lord. Oh, yeah. Connor McDavid looking for Eckholm. Good defensive play there by Kerfoot. Smoltz, sorry. LA or Vegas, we don't know yet. It'll be LA and it'll be Vegas. I mean, it was the contact by Schmaltz. He never ever reached out with the left hand. Wasn't much there. 6.43 to play in the hockey game, and now Arizona. A power play with a chance for a much We'll find out tomorrow. From a Coyote's perspective. We'll find out tomorrow. LA wins, we play LA. Vegas wins, we play Vegas.
Bullshit power play, but whatever. You can't call that penalty. I don't care what team is what. You can't call that penalty. What? Oilers had a chance to get the puck out and they didn't. haven't showed up. Uh, I'm not sure code and shit. The Oilers have not shown up tonight. What are they wait what are they saving it for tomorrow? Sure. But why? Don't go into the playoffs on a two game losing streak. Don't go into the playoffs getting Starting to get bad habits. You know what I mean? Don't don't go into the playoffs getting into bad habits that you can't break until it's too late. I'm torn 50-50, honestly. I want Vegas because I think Vegas being put out in the first round by us is poetic justice. But I want LA too, so we can put LA out for third year in a row. So we could definitely keep telling L.A. that we are their daddies and we own them. Brought to you by Rogers, Canada's largest and most reliable 5G network. Well, Warren Fulman continuing to build on his career high. And a nice outlet pass here by Philip Roper. He gets up with the play, punches through the middle, opens up that little seam in behind. And Warren Fulman takes exception to that. Says, yeah, I'll take Who do you want to play, Lugo? Nothing Price to lose. McDavid and Hyman in the slot. Nugent Hopkins on the right half boards. Bouchard and Eckholm. That's your six. I hate this. I hate this with a passion. Face off control by Edmonton. Bouchard to McDavid. And now try to settle back to Bouchard. Across to Matias Eckholm. Finding it around. Try to settle. Back hands it over to McDavid. Inside Nugent Hopkins. Stop. I hate this with a fucking passion. I'm not a fan of this, guys. I'm not a fan of this move at all. to experience for yourself. Get in the seat of a tractor or mower from Martin Deerline, your local John Deere experts. Just a real heady play by Evan Bouchard. He knew it too. He just kind of tapped it out over the Coyotes bench, but he knew that the face off was standing. Lubo knows how I feel about this. I, I'm not a fan of this. Schmaltz had a golden opportunity to clear it, but didn't 
I was mad pulling the goalie with this much time left. I was very pissed off about Philadelphia doing it last night. Obviously different circumstances, but I'm not a fan of it. Like, it's a disgrace to the game. That's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get. I'm not a fan of it. I don't like that coaches do this. I agree, Renegade. They they didn't show up. Full marks to Arizona, though. I'm not I'm not mad at Arizona for scoring. I'm not mad at Arizona for beating the Oilers. Don't pull your goalie at five minutes left. It's bush league, and it shouldn't happen in the NHL. It's Bush League, I'm sorry, but what Philadelphia did last night is complete Bush League. Do it with like two, two and a half minutes left. Do it with two minutes left, do it with two, a minute and a half, but not five. That's just, I don't know. The coach in me is very mad, you know, like. Yeah, McLeod could have just drove the net, instead he went behind it. Oilers are playing not to win this game. I I don't like it, but hey, full marks to Arizona. A thousand percent full marks to the Arizona Coyotes. They came in, they knew what they were playing for. Those 5,000 fans sitting in the building and the 20,000 fans that come and watch them day in, day out. Full marks to the Arizona Coyotes on this. My only worry is Oilers are going to get bad habits going into the playoffs. And if you play Vegas and you've got bad habits going into the playoffs, you're not going to last. You play L.A. and you have bad habits, that team will capitalize. If you guys want my honest opinion, I think the Oilers should have just rested Dreisaitl, McDavid, Nurse is resting. Like, sit Dreisaitl, sit McDavid. There's no sense in playing them. Sit them for the game. If you're in this to lose anyway, why play them? But every game matters for salary and bonuses and everything else. So. Trivia question for you. Uh, two members of either organization that were at the last game in Winnipeg and at the last game in Arizona. Paul Coffey with the Detroit Red Wings. They beat out Winnipeg Jets in the final game of Winnipeg Arena in the first round. Stan Wilson, longtime head equipment manager of then the Winnipeg yeah. Jets, started with them in 1990, moved here to Arizona, and is moving to Salt Lake City. One of the best, you know, one of the best in the business. I had the, the pleasure of working with Stan for three years as a player and three years as a broadcaster, one of the nicest guys you're ever going to meet on the planet. Great family. 
Yeah, I think they have a really good team. Absolutely, we go, it was amazing to see Underwall. All that guy seems to do is win. Two minutes left to go in regulation. Five, two, Arizona. Cooley, Gunther, Dolan looks like a pretty good player. Man, he looks so much like his dad. Absolutely. They weren't. You want to know what happened to Philadelphia? They told their coach, fuck you. Point blank. They told Tortorella, fuck you. We don't want to play for you anymore. We're not playing for you in the playoffs. We're not playing for you next year. I agree. They can't play like this in the playoffs. And that's why it's scary that they're playing like this with one game left until playoffs. Oh, no, I'm not taking anything away from Arizona. They showed up. Arizona showed up and showed out. And that's good to see. I'm with you, Lugo. I'm with you. I think the Oilers come out and put a statement tomorrow. I, I think the Oilers come out and put a put out a statement. Adam, you have nothing to be sorry for. Absolutely nothing to be sorry for, man. Huge congratulations to the Arizona Coyotes. Stick around, I have a special tribute to the Arizona Coyotes after the game. Dude, don't be sorry, man. Enjoy the win, man. It's, it's special. 45 seconds left to go in regulation in Arizona. 5-2 Arizona over the Oilers. Fitting that it ends this way.
That's it, folks. 28 years of heartache, of pain. The highs and lows of the Phoenix Coyotes. Playing in Phoenix, and then going out to Glendale. Moving to Tempe, just couldn't get their footing. Arizona 5, Oilers 2. Fitting way to go out if you're an Arizona Coyote team. Hopefully they win more when they're in Utah. They get a team back in Arizona. These fans deserve it. Despite how bad the ownership has been, the fans have never wavered and never went away. Thank you all for being here. My name is Matt for Oilers Fan Reactions. We'll see you tomorrow night. Oilers got another one. When they play the Colorado Avalanche. Finish off the season in Colorado. Playoffs start on Sunday. I believe it's Sunday or Saturday. Nothing's official yet, but I think it's... I'm going to go to say Saturday. Playoffs will start Saturday. Thank you guys for being here again. If this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button. If you've been here before... Thanks for commenting. Thanks for being here. Thanks for enjoying me. You could have been anywhere else in the world right now. You're here with me. Oilers lose, but that's okay. You can't win them all, and sometimes the game is bigger than a team. And today, the game was bigger than the team. See you guys in the next one. Have fun. Enjoy. Bye for now.